boys and girls. I'm so glad that you've joined us for some fun in the kitchen. Today, I have some special helpers. I have Miss Emily, and I have Miss Christiana, and I have Mr. John Wesley, and I have Mr. Carter. <gasps> and today, we're going to have fun, boys and girls, because we're going to be making Miss Bonnie's cheesy crackers. <gasps> Lucinda, where's the cheese? Oh, Carter, I'm glad you asked because we're not gonna have cheese. We're just, they're just kind of taste like a cheesy flavor, but we're gonna Ooh. make them healthy, so we're gonna make them without cheese. Doesn't it sound fun? Yes. Okay, let's get started. You have two different kinds of flour, and boys and girls, you can just watch, and you can always go on our Tiny Tot website, and you can get the recipe there. And so this way you could watch and learn and you don't have to worry about getting an adult to write it down for you. So we have two different kinds of flour. We have the wheat flour and then we have an oat flour. And you guys can tell your mommies and daddies if they can't find an oat flour, do you know what Miss Cinda does? What? I put oatmeal in the blender and make flour. <gasps> and you can use quick oats or you can use the old fashioned rolled oats. And then you just put it in the blender, blend it up until it's flour. So each take a bowl. You can put a, one cup of, of the oat flour. And Miss Emily, can you put one cup of the wheat Is flour? Is one cup? No, that's a one half cup. So you need just the one. And remember to use your knives, boys and girls, to level it off so you get a good level. Okay. Carter, you put in the wheat flour. John Wesley, you put in the oat flour. You want one cup. Get your one cup. Carter, here's your one cup, and here's your knife for leveling, okay? Okay, measure it out. And you can use this cup to fill it if you can't. Did you get one cup? Here, let me help you, Emily. Let's. You want to make sure you get it even. You want a full cup. Because, boys and girls, if you don't measure accurately, then guess what? Your recipe's not gonna turn out. Look what Miss Cinda's doing. See, you're gonna go like this and level it out. Now you have one cup. And you put it in here. How are you doing, Christiana? How are you doing? You can you can use this if you want. Let's let's do this. And I should have put bigger bowls in here, shouldn't have I? Because we're getting flour all over. Okay, use your knife and level it off. Get your knife. And level it off. Here's I leveled mine off. Good job, Carter. Okay, now you can put it in your bowl. There you go. Put it in your bowl. How are you girls doing? You're all done? Okay, we'll move the flour. Now we have onion powder and salt. Now remember, always look at your recipes and or have an adult read the recipe to you because you get the right measurements. Don't forget, boys and girls. So this says we need a half a teaspoon of salt. So you want to do the salt? And you want to do the salt? Find your half a teaspoon. Is it this one? That's one four. For a half, it's one two. Very good. Can you find the, oh, very good. Is this a half now you're going to do a, let me look, you're going to do a half a teaspoon of onion powder. So that's a half. Can you find your half, Miss Emily? That's a fourth. Let's find your half. Um, you know what? We'll borrow. We'll borrow Christiana's half over here, okay? Good job, Christiana. Okay, put that in there. Did you put the salt in already? No. Okay, put your salt in. Oh, and, it's on the floor. Oh, well, we don't want to use it if it's on the floor, do we? How about if I just put it over here? Because if, it, if it's on the floor, boys and girls, don't use it because it's dirty and it, you're going to need to wash it first, Okay. Good job. Good job, guys. Okay, level it off. You, you did it? You got your salt in? Okay, now I need to put in a half a cup of our nutritional yeast flakes. I did it. This one? Good job. Nope, a half a cup. Put in a half a cup. And Carter, you want to, I'll give you a, get your half a cup, Carter. And did you put your salt, did you put your onion powder in, yeah. Carter? Yep. You put this in? Okay. Mm -hmm. And you put your no, salt you in. Rub it down with your knife. Okay, do you have that, Christiana? 
Good job. Good job. There you go. See, boys and girls, how to get it nice and even. And you have a nice, okay, Carter, put a half a cup in of your nutritional yeast flakes and let me look. Okay, um, stir that up. Take turns stirring it, okay? And you so want to get it all stirred up. Can I use this one to fill this one up? Yes, you may. You absolutely, that's very smart, Carter. Good job. Good job. And, and John Wesley, right. you can stir it up. Okay. You want to stir all that up? Yeah. Want it, you want to stir it up really good, boys and girls. Uh, okay, Emily, you want to help, and let's help you help stir? Yes, put that in. I'll stir it up real good. And let me move all this for you. I'm stirring them. And I'll get it out of your way. How's that? There you go. Okay, you have it all stirred up good? Yep. Oh, you know what? So now what we're going to do is you want a half a cup of cold water. Now you want really cold water, so I'm going to get our water from the refrigerator, okay? Okay. We'll get, because we want to make sure that your water's cold, okay? So who's got a half a cup? It's your turn, John Wesley, so okay. let's give John Wesley a half a cup. There you go. Put it, hold it over here, and I'll give you a half a cup of cold water. That's important. Cinda, why does it need to be really cold? Well, because it helps your crackers, it helps them to um, form into a ball really good and stick together, and um, and then it'll help you make better dough. Yeah, like glue okay. sticks together. Emily, you want to hold this one? This is a half a cup, and uh, we'll pour that in. Okay, pour that in. Okay, now we're going to do some olive oil so here it's your turn christiana and who poured the water in me okay you did okay carter let me fill this up okay john wesley we're gonna put now do you notice that we mixed our dry ingredients in first Whoa. and then we're mixing Ugh. our and then we're mixing our wet ingredients let's mix now there you Can go what it's sticking on here. It's sticking on here? Well, I'll help you so it's not. How about this? How about if I help you? Okay, boys, I want you to stir it all up until it forms into a dough. Okay? We want to stir it all. See there? See how I'm mixing it into a dough? You want to get all your dry ingredients all mixed up with the wet ingredients, and then it'll form a ball. Do you see how it's forming a ball? There. There. Okay, now you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this. I'll go like this. Okay, so so boys and girls, you're going to um, stir it up real good until it forms a ball. Okay? And then I'm going to divide it into two pieces so that you each will have a piece. Okay? And I'm going to give you some parchment paper. So what you're going to do is Cinda, you're going to roll this out in parchment paper. Yes, so we're going to, yes, Carter? Are you done? Oh, let me come check, okay? Let me give you the, the girls theirs. Okay, there's yours. Now take your rolling pin and you're going to roll that out. Let me get yours, Christiana. Here you go. Uh, there, and so, oh, you got to be careful. Okay, put you, I'm going to move all this for you. Okay, so there you go, Christiana. Let's, oh boys, those are, that's excellent. That's excellent. Okay, let me, let me stir it into a, um, let me half it up. Let's stir it like this, and then let's half it up. Okay. There you go. Okay, Carter, do you think you could, let's just take this. Do you like that? Take all the, take this Thank over you. to the sink let's over there, will you? Please, and there. It's really Here, Carter, flat. why don't you take this to the sink, too? Now, there, I'm making room for you guys. Okay? And here's your, here's yours. Okay, and here's yours. Okay. Whoa, that's a long one. Okay, there, there's your dough. We better get this out from underneath, John Wesley. Okay. Now, boys and girls, do you see how we're doing this? Do you see this? And wait, 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 Carter. No, you got to have a piece on top. On there you go. 
Okay, roll it out. Now, you don't want to get it real thin, boys and girls. You don't want it too thin because if it's too thin, then it'll burn, okay? So get it rolled out nice and even. Oh, very good. You have a, you see right here how thick it is, a little too thick? So roll that just a little bit thinner, but yours is almost perfect. How are you doing, Miss Emily? Little yeah. bit more. How about if I hold the paper? How you doing, boys? Am I done? Come here. Yes. Little bit more here, Emily. Can you see, boys and girls? We're rolling it out so nice. Okay, now what we're gonna do? Then I think mine's squirting out. Is your squirting out? Yeah. Oh, do you know what you can do? Tear this off, boys and girls. If this happens to you, take this dough and. And you can take it with your hands and put it up right, just take it off and put it on your paper. Okay, now, boys and girls, here's what we're gonna do. Look, we're gonna take this cook this dough and we're gonna turn it upside down. Look, Senna, now like where do this I put it? on your cookie sheet. Senna, now where do I put this dye roll? Oh, it put it, yes, exactly, Carter. That's exactly what you do. Okay, now. Take your knife and you're gonna cut it into little squares, like this. Okay. And you know what you can do? There. Miss Cinda's already treated the cooking sheets. What you wanna spray it with the non-stick cooking spray, and I've already done that, okay? Oh, Cinder good Wesley. job, John Wesley. Here, do Cinder, up look how flat mine is. Perfect. Okay, let's get you a cookie sheet. Oh, that's our kitchen timer. We're almost out of time. Oh, here, and you know what else you can do if you don't have the nonstick cooking spray? You can actually, this is parchment paper, so do you know that this can go in the oven? Oh. So you can just now take your, take your knife and you're gonna this. score the, uh, I'll get you another knife, Carter. Okay. What? What, Emily, are you ready for yours? No. No? Not too stiff. There you go, Carter. Boy, so boys mine. and girls, you're gonna score this. Okay, this one's a little thin, I'm John done. Wesley. <gasps> Good job! Now, take your fork and you go like this in the middle. Okay, can you do that? Okay, you know what, John Wesley? Right. Boys and girls, make sure you don't get it too thin. But you know what? Before our next timer rings, how about if you each get to try a cookie, I mean a cracker, because Miss Cinda made some ahead of time. Look it. See what your crackers are gonna look like? You wanna try one? Yeah. You wanna try one, Carter? Carter, that's great. You wanna try one? Lucinda, mm. these are really good. Oh, I'm glad you like them. John Wesley, you want to try one? Yeah. Oh, and that's our kitchen timer, boys and girls. That's all the time we have for today. So until our next program, remember, anytime you can be in the kitchen, it's fun.